A very good morning, my dear family members. Dear friends, please like, share and subscribe. Dear friends, as the month of June is dedicated to the sacred heart of Jesus, let us pray the prayer given below with meaning and devotion. Prayer to the sacred heart of Jesus. O most holy heart of Jesus, a fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant, good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Amen. My dear friends, by clicking the like, share, and subscribe buttons, we proclaim, praise, worship, and glorify the triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I pray that the triune God will embrace the entire world. Peace, joy, and healing may be felt by everyone. Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, June 4, 2023, the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. First reading, a reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 34, verses 4b to 6 and 8 to 9. Moses cut two more stone tablets, and early the next morning, he carried them up Mount Sinai, just as the Lord had commanded. The Lord came down in a cloud, stood with him there, and pronounced his holy name, the Lord. The Lord then passed in front of him and called out, I, the Lord, am a God who is full of compassion and pity, who is not easily angered, and who shows great love and faithfulness. Moses quickly bowed down to the ground and worshipped. He said, Lord, if you really are pleased with me, I ask you to go with us. These people are stubborn, but forgive our evil and our sin, and accept us as your own people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response, real psalm. Your response, glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Your response, glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Your response, glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Your response, glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Your response, glory and praise forever. Second reading, a reading from the second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verses 11 to 13. And now, my brothers and sisters, goodbye. Strive for perfection. Listen to my appeals. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All God's people send you their greetings. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the acclamation alleluia alleluia glory to the father the son and the holy spirit to god who is who was and who is to come alleluia alleluia gospel a reading from the holy gospel according to john chapter 3 verses 16 to 18 For God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that every one who believes in him may not die but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to be its judge but to be its savior. Those who believe in the son are not judged. but those who do not believe have already been judged because they have not believed in god's only son the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ today's reflection on the readings my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus in today's gospel reading john 3 verses 16 to 18 we find that there is only one god and no other and god is trinity the father has sent and revealed himself in his son jesus and the holy spirit who has descended and has been sanctifying the world as we give our worship to our triune god we also become instruments and channels of god's saving love for humanity today the faithful are encouraged to celebrate trinity sunday with pure love just like the love that god has been giving us it was love that moved the father to send his son jesus to save us it is because of god's love that we enjoy life love is the reason why god is still present among us through his spirit the advocate the helper it was because of love the love of the father to us that he gave his only son for our ransom so we may live so we may be restored to life dear family of mother mary's protection today's gospel john 3:16 to 18 invites each of us to reflect on how truthful we are in our words thoughts and actions dear friends it is difficult and painful to be truthful because it hurts our comforts and our ego our selfish nature and our pride but jesus is telling us by his very life example to do good works and pleasing acts of love to god and to our neighbors Let each of us ask for the grace to change our old ways to the ways of God. Thus bring love and salvation in our families, in our circle of friends, and in our communities. And so together enjoy life and salvation in Jesus. Prayer Almighty and ever living God we thank you for saving and loving us through Jesus your son who is our lord and savior and brother thank you for giving us a life lived in grace through the blood of Christ may we not forget your love for us and so we do our part of loving and serving others friends and strangers may your saving word inspire us to take on the challenge and task of the new evangelization in our world today we ask all these things through the intercession of mary the mother of jesus 
and in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.